Hello, lovely people of the internet. So my birthday party is tonight, which I'm really excited about, and then my actual birthday's on Monday, so I'm just in a really good mood today. Uh, but I decided I needed to take some time out of my busy getting the house ready day because I have not filmed my January favorites yet. I have a lot of new products to mention because I didn't do a what I got for Christmas video, so I decided that I needed to put even more into this video. A lot of this stuff I did get for Christmas, so you'll probably hear that over and over and over again, just warning you. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into my January favorites. I think I'm going to start with fragrance because I have two rollerballs here. Uh, one of them I got in not necessarily Boxing Day sales, but I did buy it after Christmas when the Boxing Day sales were happening. It was still regular price, but I think it was worth it. This is the Victoria's Secret Scandalous in the rollerball. This is the one that's kind of like a light purple color. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Um, you can kind of see it at the bottom there, how it's purple. This has a really nice, uh, almost like a sweet berry type of scent, but it has a hint of like sexiness to it. So I really like wearing this in the evening time. And another one that I really like, uh, like for school and stuff, is the new American Eagle fragrance. This is Live Your Life. And this has a really bright, fruity fragrance to it. This one's definitely my favorite of the American Eagle fragrances. Okay, so I've been loving two different lip balms this month. I've literally been using these interchangeably. The first one is from Indigena. This is the Smooch Lip Balm. It comes in a little tub like this and it's kind of it has like a waxy texture. But when you actually apply it, it does not feel greasy or oily at all. And it just gives like a really nice like natural sheen to your lips and it feels like it really moisturizes deep down. And I like how it doesn't have too many chemicals or anything uh, overly harmful in it. So I've really been using that one a lot, especially um, right before I apply my makeup. That's kind of the one I reach for when I want to prep my lips for a lip color. And the one I've been carrying around with me throughout the day is from Nivea. I got this for Christmas as well. This is the Nivea Lip Butter Raspberry Rosé. So it looks like this. I feel like this is kind of... I feel like this might be a slightly cheaper version of the creme creme de rose lip balm from Dior I think because it does have a hint of a rose scent to it very moisturizing uh, very nice sweet scent if you're not into like vanilla and like macadamia nut and that kind of thing definitely try this one this one's really nice I just really like how these work they feel a little bit glossier on the lips but they're not greasy and they're just really comfortable to wear next I have a hand cream I keep this on my bedside table um, this is from Enspa by Nirvana Spa it's a Walmart brand this is the Jehovah and white jasmine hand and nail cream and I got this for Christmas as well this is really nice it has like that classic Jehovah uh, scent that Enspa uses in a lot of their products and I just really like this it's kind of more of a lightweight hand cream and you know it doesn't feel like super thick on your hands or anything it absorbs quickly so yeah I've been really liking that next thing I have here is a lip scrub this is my all-time favorite like lip scrub ever this is from Lush and this is their bubblegum lip scrub so it looks like this when you open the jar it looks kind of like watery in there now because I've been using it but it, it's just like a, a sugar bubblegum mixture and I find this is the best product for exfoliating your lips. This is definitely my favorite lip scrub that I've tried and I would repurchase it over and over again. This is probably my fourth or fifth tub of this. This retails for about nine or ten dollars. Next thing I have here is also from Indigenous Skincare. This is their Sea Veggie Facial Lotion and I'm not going to go too deep into this yet because I want to do a separate Indigenous review video. That'll probably be like next weekend before I get to that. But this is just a really nice uh, winter moisturizer for combination oily skin. I highly recommend this if you haven't ooh, if you haven't tried it yet. Next thing I have here is um, a product from Lossy 10. I ordered this through Sephora. I got it at like 100 points from the Beauty Insider points that I have. This is their Almond Shower Oil. And I heard Making Up Ashley talking about this so much and how she's so obsessed with it. And I can see why she is because this stuff has a really like... It's still like a sweet scent, but it's not sickening. And if you're not a fan of like super vanilla coconut scent, but you still like something a little sweet every now and then, this is a nice scent. I really like this. And what's also great about this is that it lathers up, even though it's a, an oil. Like once you put this in your hand or on your face cloth or your loofah, it actually does lather up a bit. I usually mix this in with my Aveeno um, Skin Relief Body Wash, and it creates a really nice, uh, not only lather, but scent. 
and it doesn't irritate my sensitive skin so I really liked that. A really unfortunate thing I've been experiencing this month has been flaky dry scalp and I know that's pretty common especially if you live in a winter climate like a true winter climate so this is the only thing I've found that works for me uh, to get rid of that. It's a Neutrogena shampoo. It's called Tea Gel. It's a therapeutic shampoo. It comes in a bottle like this, but when you buy it at the store, it's in a box. Um, it's just in the normal uh, drugstore aisle. And basically this is, I think it has tar in it. <laughs> so yeah, it kind of smells like driveway sealer. But I find this works better than head and shoulders. It's a bit more heavy duty for those really badly affected areas of your scalp. So basically I like to mix this in with a bit of my head and shoulders just to get the scent a little bit down and I just kind of rub that into my scalp really well and I let it sit for about a minute and then I rinse it out. And it does leave your, uh, I was about to say your skin, it leaves your hair like really soft and shiny too so that's kind of nice. And I have one more skincare item here. This is also a local product. Um, this is from a brand called T-Val. They're in downtown St. John's. And this is their whipped sugar body scrub with sugar and shea in the scent Sweet Cream. I've been loving this stuff so much. It is such a nice scrub. Um, the scent is in the Sweet Cream range. It's so nice. It's kind of like this really light, warm vanilla scent. I highly recommend this stuff if you haven't tried it yet. And I don't remember it being overly expensive. Like 15 or less for sure. So yeah, I really like that. And now that I've done skincare, I'm gonna move on to makeup. Hopefully the lighting is still okay. I, it's, I don't know, the sun's being really weird right now and I don't like it. I'm gonna start with these two products. Um, I saw these come out in the States and I saw a kind of walk through the day vlog review of this by Tati, who is Glam Life Guru on YouTube. I really trust her opinion on products because she has very similar skin type to me, especially in the winter. So she did a full like kind of review combo of these two products. Uh, well, she did the powder foundation too, but this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 hour foundation. So I have this and I also picked up the matching infallible makeup setting spray because I found that my Urban Decay D Slick was a little bit too drying for winter. Um, perfect for summertime, but it was just getting a little too cakey on my skin and I didn't like that. So I needed to find a cheaper, but still slightly more moisturizing setting spray. And this is exactly what this is. I guess I should be talking about the foundation first, because I mentioned that one first. But yeah, I really, really like this stuff and I highly recommend it. It is much cheaper than buying, say, Urban Decay or Scandinavia, those type of setting sprays. This one is $15, $16 Canadian at the drugstore. So I really like that, I definitely recommend it. And I also really like this foundation. It is definitely 24 hour. Um, uh, I've been kind of bad and I actually did wear it to bed once and it stayed on. It looked a little gross in the morning, but it, it was still there, like it did not wear off. Um, and I also really like how this gives like a light, it isn't like, I wouldn't say it's completely matte on your skin. It left a healthy dew to it, but it was not oily or greasy. It doesn't feel heavy on your skin and it gives really good coverage. This one's definitely um, like more of a medium coverage, which is great for a drugstore foundation. And it's oil free. It says, yeah, okay, it says demi matte finish on it. So it's like slightly dewy, but not in the sense that it looks shiny. It did not look shiny. And I have the shade 101 Classic Ivory. I've mentioned this before, but it's awesome. This is the Body Shop Tea Tree Flawless BB Cream in the shade 01. I absolutely love this stuff. If you haven't tried it, go try it. It is so good. The next thing I have here was also ordered from Sephora as a Christmas gift. I wanted to try this for a while. A lot of people have mentioned this stuff is really good. This is the NARS Eyeshadow Primer. And yeah, I was kind of surprised with how tall the tube is when it came, but that's all right. This stuff feels very nice on the eyes and it feels a little silicone-y at first when you first start rubbing it in, but I, I found that that went away once it dried. Your eyes just feel normal. <laughs> so yeah, I really liked that. And another product that I got for Christmas was a NYX blush. I don't own any of their blush blushes yet, so I was happy to try this. This is the shade Flamingo, so it's a really bright pink. But yeah, I really like this stuff. It gives like a really nice blush on your cheeks. Now I will move on to lippies, because I mean, they're the most exciting thing. Who are we kidding, right? Um, so this is one of the brand new uh, Maybelline Color Sensational lipsticks. I posted an Instagram picture of this. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw this. I'm wearing it today. This is Blushing Blood. Blushing Bud. And it is just a really nice um, 
I wouldn't say neutral pink. It does have a bit more of a bubblegum sheen to it because it is like a spring color. This is their spring 2015 collection, these bright pink caps. Um, but yeah, I've really been loving that stuff. I've been using it multiple times per week. The next product that I've been using on my lips a lot is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Milan. This is what it looks like. Um, it's not completely brand new to me. I think I got it in November. Uh, but yeah, when I want something, well, not if I want something that's more high maintenance, but if I just, if I'm okay with reapplying it multiple times, um, this is what it looks like. It's a little bit more of a rosy, darker pink. But it's really comfortable to wear, and I find it doesn't look too drying or anything. And the last lipstick that I've been wearing a lot this month is which end? There's one end of this. Uh, this is one of the Bite Beauty, like, dual end lipsticks, so there's two mini, mini uh, lipsticks on these. Yeah, it was this one. This is the shade Date, which is definitely more of a, a neutral. Has a bit more of a peachy color to it but i love the quality of these bite beauty lipsticks i definitely want to try some of these in full size okay so those are the three lipsticks i've been wearing and now let's kind of move into the non product stuff that i have for the month so here i have a bath and body works candle that i got in the semi-annual sale this is ski lodge looks like this kind of has this like smoky i don't want to say coffee um maybe chocolate Smoky chocolate on a campfire scent. It smells really nice when the candle is cold and you aren't burning it, but once you actually start to burn it, it smells even better and it's just really nice and cozy. Because I loved Marshmallow Fireside so much, I figured I would like this one too, and that is definitely the case. I really like this. So if it's still available, I recommend trying it out or at least smelling it. It does smell a little bit better once you start burning it. Then I have two mugs here that I really have been using a lot. Both of these I got for Christmas. Uh, the first one is from Indigo, uh, like the Chapters Coles brand. This is the one with the gold monogram on it and the gold handle. I've been using this so much this month for my tea. It's just so pretty. I love it. And the other one is just a really cool one. Uh, I got this from modcloth.com, but um, I mentioned a couple times that one of my hobbies is like photography like I do have a separate SLR camera that I use It just doesn't have a video function on it because it's so old um, But I saw this uh, mug a couple years ago on the site and I finally caved and bought it um, I think they call this the pour and shoot mug, but it's an SLR lens and it even comes with a lens cap It doesn't like click off, but you just pull it off and it's like a rubber lid So I thought that was really cool this retails for about $14, $15 American. If it's still available, I'll link it down below. And now I just have three uh, clothing items to share and I will be done. So the first one here, I actually wore in my like January update resolutions video, um, but I love this, it is so comfortable. This is from Victoria's Secret. I got it in, I it was like this huge haul I did back in like October, November, but it has like a leopard pocket on it. It's like that minty green color and it has like the drop sleeves on the sides and it's just like a long baggy sleeve shirt. And I absolutely love wearing that on lazy days and for studying and stuff. It's not only flattering, but it's comfortable. So I would definitely consider buying another one of those. And another thing I have here is a infinity scarf that one of my best friends gave me for Christmas. Um, I'm not sure where this is from. I think it's garage but it's a black scarf with like maroon and deep teal floral on it and I've been wearing this a lot this month. The last thing I have here I wore in my original December Top Box unboxing video and this is a cardigan from Toby. I got it for like 40 bucks online and it's kind of one of those um, open cascading layer cardigans and it has like this Aztec print on it with like teal green or mint, mint, mint blue, whatever you call it, and like bright pink stripes. And I absolutely love wearing this with leggings and like tall boots. I just feel so cool. But yeah, that is my January favorites for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will be back with more videos soon. Bye guys. <laughs>